here i will show you basically how to create i will go into system and show you how we can create cds view for full data extraction and okay, how okay. we can create a delta data extraction so let's we'll yeah. go into the system and i'll show you how to create the cds views okay so now now you can see this is we have a system okay so let i will go to login first into your uh, hana studio so this is okay. we have a hana studio okay under hana studio or or you will see here uh, already there is two systems one is the w4 system another one is s4 system s4 so, yes okay so just double click on s4 system okay sometimes it required a password but already we have given the login okay already logged so just drill that okay you will see here <laughs> local hmm. objects are there okay under local objects you can just right click on local objects go to new you can see here other above prospectives okay reposit objects click on this now you can select here core services cds core services you can see just navigate you will see core data services just drill this now here you will see so many uh, options are available, but we will go with the data definitions. Select this and click next. Yeah, now you have to put it here. See, by default, that is a temporary. Why? Because this is a, a dummy system, idea system. That's why it is that there is no any packages available. Okay, but it's going to by default is temporary. Okay. But in the real time, you will have some packages where you have to collect your all changes object or new object on that packages. Okay. Okay. So that's why here, this is a temp learning system. That's why we are by default putting that object or creating the object on temporary. So temporary packages or packages is not used to move the, okay. not, is not used to move it. Okay. So that's why here we are using a temporary. Okay. So now you have to put it here CDS. I'm yeah. putting here some JAD CDS view. Okay. Something I'm giving a map. Okay. VB a map. VB AP. Okay. So let's, I'm giving CDS2. JAD CDS2. Okay. okay. I'm giving here some CDS. VB. Uh, VB AP table extractions. Okay, you can put it any name. Okay, I'm giving some name like this CDS ABAP table extractions. Okay, now okay. if you have any reference objects, you can take it, otherwise, you can skip that. Okay, so now you can okay. click next. Okay, now if you will see here, if you will give the packages, so automatically system will create transport requests. Here yes, we will we will not given any uh, packages. So temporary package basically won't allow to capture any request. Okay, so that's why here you can see there is no any transport request generated. Okay, but in the real time you will have a, some packages name. You will generate a correspondent transport request. Okay. okay. Now you can see <laughs> click on. <laughs> now now you can see okay. there is so many templates are available okay so yeah. many templates like definition entity template root view template you can see many more all the templates are available no need to write anything okay you can just as per your requirement you can select that template and start uh, uh, writing the code under that okay so see so okay. many are there so many are so you can yeah, yeah. use as per your requirement. So here we will use okay. a defined basically views, okay, okay. templates. So under this template, you will see this is a by default will generate in the system. This is the templates are available. If you select define view, automatically this will be available. So if you select okay. define views and click finish. Yes. So now you can see, yes. Now you can see your template has been or your view has been okay now you have to give give the some name here view name okay so let's see cds okay. view to i'm giving vbap so this is the name i have given here 
So whatever the name you, let's see, I am giving here, ZCDS2 ABAP. This is the name okay. of the CDS. And you can see these are the basically annotations. Okay, these are the annotations okay. kind of, kind of you can say header or include files. Okay, so these are the annotations. Okay. So before using any uh, functions, methods, you have to declare the annotations. Okay, so here we have to give the name of the your CDS views. Okay, then we can see this is the okay. We have another ABAP catalogs, compilers are available, pre version keys available. We have a check authentication checks are is not required. Okay, even you can see the labels also as CDS view extractions are there. Now you can see define here basically. This is your view, okay, is generated. Okay, now you can put it here, name here, data source name, you have to give it here. VBAP, okay, I have given here the name of table is VBAP and now you can see press enter, okay. Now, okay, what you need to do, space, okay, you have to control and a space. Ah, okay. Okay, so let's, yeah, you will see. Either there is two way you can insert a, column name here or field name okay either you can go each and every insert all. yes correct insert all yes right so i have to click insert all so you will see if you give here see all will come here so okay. i'm not okay so i'm not required all okay just i'm going to delete all okay because i'm not required okay, okay this so much fields in the single cds view Okay, so as per your yes. requirement, you can customize it. So let's, I'm deleting yeah, it. Yeah. Okay, and if you some A, E, D, A, T kind of one fields are there, you can define as a change date, change date. Okay, so like like this, okay, I have given Come here. On. Not full stop. Okay, right, right, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. So here you can see, even there is yes. some A, D, T, some, is that field available? Yeah, let no, that is not available. I a date. Okay, no issues. I can remove it, no problem. Okay. Okay. So this is we have. Okay. So you can see all this. You can just check it if it is any changes or the anything. last comma is not necessary for the last yes, yes. Right, right, right. Okay. So let's check it here. Yeah, now it is fine. Okay. So you can just check and activate it. So once you activate it, okay, so it is activated. Now you can drill here. So you can see your yeah. table has been generated. You can see the table, basically name of <coughs> yes, view name. This is the CTS2 ABAP is the name of, okay. And this is the schema, okay. So okay. let SQL, let's see. You can see the data, okay. See, uh, if you want to check here or data on this, go here. There is a navigate, two options are there. One second, open with. See, data view. If you want to check the data ah, okay. view, see, you can check the data view here. Okay. okay. Similarly, if you if you want to check into GUI, you can go here GUI. Okay, and check here SC eleven. Okay. Okay. Put it the name here Z CDS two. Okay, and ABAP. Okay, DB AP. Yeah. yeah, you can see this is the CDS view name, okay, and this is the definition basically data definitions, okay. So, this is the data definitions, and this is a view name. Okay. So, here okay. you can see by the we have created the view based on ABAP, okay. You can see the view fields, whatever the fields we have taken here, all the fields automatically generated okay even you can see data even here you can see the data see yes. whatever seven records are there so okay. you can see these are the records so we have generated so now what we'll do your cds view has been generated okay so yes. now this data i am going to pull into pw4 system okay from okay. s4 system okay so this is the way okay so so, so for this, what you need to do, once you uh, created this one, then one more we have, okay, let's me, I'll tell you. So it will not pull into BW system. Why? Because 
we need some more okay annotations are required so okay me, okay i'll tell you what are the annotations required so, yes yes so let me give me two minutes okay i'll tell you Yeah, so we will have a one. We need to add this two patients ah, okay. here, then it will move into the. So let's see, come into here. Okay. And here you have to add more. I'll tell you why. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> yeah, I have added okay. two more annotations here. See why it is required? See, I'll tell you. So this is basically a fact. I mean, see, uh, before I'm going to define, you ha you have to define the annotations before you have to extract it. So, so, ABAP okay. basic, so basically the system data source will not understand what kind of data source you are extracting, okay, either master or transactions. So basically this is a fact basically used for uh, dimensions or uh, transactional data. Okay, this okay, fact, okay. fact basically used for transactional data. Okay, and data source basically enable. Okay, sometimes if you not yes. keep this one, so data source will not enable. Okay, so that's why we are using this uh, these two statement. One is for data source transactional data source enable, and second is your data source enable. Okay. Okay. Now you can check it first. Yeah, there is no any syntax error. Now you have to activate it. Okay. Now if you okay. want to, if you want to check again, you can check again the data. Let me check one more. This is a table basically. Let me check. Okay. Or you can just here, you can come here and check the data basically. Okay. So I'm going to check here. data view okay you can check once yeah whatever we have created okay it is came here okay even if you if you want something okay if you want some changes or something you can if you let's see so you can do anything okay you can define any key value and also already we have defined here two key values okay so this is already activated okay now this is for s for hana okay now what we need to do go into bw system Okay, so now what is it now? What we need to do? Whatever the series view we have generated. Okay, this is the series views we have created. Jad series two underscore VBAP. So now this views basically whatever the data. Okay, in this table. Okay, and series view. I would like to extract this data into PW4 HANA as a data source. So same thing you have to follow as a generic extractor. You have to go to the bw4 source system create a data source then we have to create a particular adso then create transformation then dtp then you have to load then you have to create a complete provider then you have to create a query on top of complete provider so the functionality almost same okay as your standard data source or your custom data sources so let me go into your bw for HANA systems. So this is, we have a BW for HANA system. Select data source and here you have to choose basically CDS view, RFC connections. So I guess there is no RFC for CDS view here. So I guess here is, there is no any CDS connections available. So let me check. So, so here is not okay, we have to Check with the basis team, okay, why it is not RFC for CDS view. So in the real time, you will have here CDS views, basically RFCs, okay. When we have a RFC for S4 HANA, we have a flat file, we have a bot, we have a ECC system, but there is a no any CDS view connections are available, okay. So I'm giving a steps how we can go to create a data source based on as CDS views, okay. In the real time, okay, you will have a source system here, okay, similar to S4 HANA. So how you need to do the steps next? Let's assume here this is the CDS view 
a source system rfc connection right click in this okay you will see new options okay data source click on data source now here you have to source system okay in the real time you will see here a cds source system but this is not a cds this is a s4 source system okay s4 means that is a rfc source system so there is no cds view source system okay now click here now proposal here click here now here you have to find okay, your cds2 vbap to vbap see it is not available why it is not available because this is a not a rfc connections for with cds views okay so that's why it is not coming but in the real time you will see okay you will see if you the rfc available you can have a cds view here and you can click next and correspondence data source has been generated okay so once data source has been generated okay then what you need to do you have to create a you have to create a, a adsos okay top of your data source then you have to create a transformation between data source and adsos and you need to load the data using dtp from cds view to your adsos okay and then you can create a composite provider top of adso and generate a query on this okay so this is how basically we are creating a cds views okay okay and extract the data okay so here i am not going to show you because here there is a no rfc connection exists in the system i will tell you the basic people okay and ask to create here cds view rfc connection then you can extract the data so meanwhile this is the similar steps okay you have okay once you created a cd cds okay tables and all okay then you have to create a data source similar to the previous generic or standard okay and you have to load the data using dtp from cds view table to your adso okay using a dtp system so this is how we can use to load the data and this is how we can use to extract the data via cds 